Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's speed build, I have a couple of Aqua Raiders 1 sets, both from 1997. So stick around to the end to hear my review, and let's get started. <laughs> So here we have the completed builds. This is set 2160, the Crystal Scavenger from 1997. It's right around 100 pieces and comes with one minifigure. And here we have the Hydro Reef Wrecker, which is around 275 pieces comes with two minifigures, and again is also from 1997. Both of these sets came from that bulk lot purchase that I got back in November of 2021. Both sets were missing pieces, so I just recently completed both of them, and I've been really excited to do a review of them. I went ahead and included both because this set was only around 100 pieces. I didn't think it was really large enough to do a full review of, and there were only three sets released for the Aqua Raiders 1 series. So I managed to get two of the three out of one bulk lot, which is awesome. Both sets were missing the sticker pieces for them, so those were a little more challenging to get. And then there's a little compass piece that comes on this, and that was missing as well. But other than that, they were intact, which was awesome. And I was absolutely shocked that there were only three sets in this series. I don't know why there were so few. I think these sets are really cool. They're so different from anything else I've ever seen LEGO do, and part of that is just because of the color scheme and the combination of stickers. Stickers. These giant eyeball stickers are so unique. I don't know who came up with that, but I think they're really cool. So I'll go ahead and show you the minifigures first. All right, so here's one of the minifigures. He comes in both sets. He's super cool with this awesome translucent neon green hook. I don't know if any other minifigures come with that color hook, but super cool. Love the dark gray legs with the contrasting yellow hips. Very unique great head pattern with the headset as well as this really nice dark turquoise color for the torso just all around a very unique minifigure so again he comes in both the sets i just showed you and then the hydro reef Wrecker also comes with a second minifigure and that's this guy with these great chrome silver knives 
got a slightly different torso pattern and a different head so another great minifigure all right as for the build i'll go ahead and show you this smaller one first i want to point out the tile here on the top as well as this little tile on the interior those are both traditionally found in spiria sets so i thought it was interesting that they included them in this series considering they don't really fit with the color scheme and they are even listed on BrickLink as being spirious patterns. So I just thought that was really interesting. I don't know the reasoning behind using those, if it was just to, you know, be able to use the same pieces in more than one series or what, but just kind of an interesting use of those tiles there. I do really like, like I said, these giant eyeball stickers. I think those are so cool. They give it a little bit more of a childish feel, but as always, these were intended for children and not really for adult collectors at this time, but I think they're super cute and totally unique. So it does open up to get to the interior. There are also stickers on the bottom here that look like teeth for this one. The arms are movable on both sides. That's a nice feature there. Back also opens and there's a little compartment that you can keep crystals in, which is a big purpose of these sets is to collect crystals. I'm obsessed with all things chrome. So I love the chrome crystals. Someone actually recently asked me if I could bring back one color that's been discontinued, what would it be? And it would be chrome. Honestly, any discontinued color would be awesome, but I just think that these have such a classic feel to them. I'd love to get some chrome pieces back. There are a couple of sets that have chrome green crystals from the late 90s. Um, and that's like the only thing they ever made in chrome green and I wish they had made a variety of pieces in that color. I think that would have been really cool. But yes, love the chrome crystals. Classic 90s piece. Also comes with this tool. Not exactly sure of the purpose. I thought this was traditionally used as some sort of camera but when they attach this like saw blade to it i'm not so sure anymore but a really cool unique looking tool there so this set comes with a few animal pieces you get a shark classic piece and an octopus i wish they'd bring this octopus back i think it's such a cool piece as far as i know it's been discontinued if not let me know though because i love this piece you also get one of these kind of dual bush pieces which Again, I think the kind of half shrub looking piece has been discontinued. These, as far as I know, are still being made, but these are always super delicate. People are always selling them, but most of the time they are broken. So whenever I get these in bulk lots and they're intact, I always keep them because I know I'll be looking for them when I'm trying to complete another set. So there are certain pieces I always hold on to because I know they're either fragile or they come in a bunch of sets and I'll probably need them like little gold coins. Those always go missing from sets because they're so tiny and they don't technically look like traditional Lego. So sometimes people toss them without realizing they're Lego. So I always hold on to those as well, just because I know I'll be completing sets and need those eventually. So this is a much larger build. It comes on these really great wheels that kind of, I think are traditionally used more as space wheels, but super cool. It also has these wing pieces which again I think are more traditionally used on space sets so those are really unique to the set especially because they're in green and I believe both of those are exclusively in green in this set so some rare unique pieces there here's a little compass piece I was talking about that was missing it's found in a lot of these aqua zone sets as well as like pirate ships and that kind of thing always love that piece a little more on the expensive side to replace but totally worth it to complete these two sets it does open in the front here to get to the interior and this one actually detaches so there's just a little technic pin holding these two sections together and then this can be a separate device that goes out on its own and it opens as well. So a really cool little build there. Again, absolutely love the green with the translucent neon green colors together. It's just such a unique look for an underwater series since we're kind of more used to the yellow and blue color scheme. And all kinds of little chrome silver accents on this as well. Now that that's detached, this section right here is where you would be putting all of the chrome silver crystals. 
So this set actually comes with quite a few of them. So you'd be searching for those and then you can just dump them here in the back. And another little spear as well. There are additional storage containers here in the back that you could also put crystals if you wanted to. And then on the sides, these also flip out. Not 100% sure of the reasoning for that, but a really cool movable part there. And I guess the front is supposed to be for drilling as well. So I am absolutely obsessed with these sets. And it looks like this set is starting around $25 for a complete copy. A little on the more expensive side considering it's a 100 piece set, but I don't honestly think that's too bad considering how short of a series this was. This one, there was only one for sale worldwide on Bricklink right now, and it did happen to be in the US, and I think it was about $42. It was missing one or two things, I can't remember exactly. Wasn't 100% complete, but it was pretty close. So I don't, again, I don't think that's too bad considering the age and closer to 300 pieces for this set. Perhaps eBay or another site might have them for better deals or more options available and maybe complete as well. Still in shock that there was only three sets for this series. That's a really, really short <laughs> lived series. I thought RoboForce was short with only four sets. I had no idea this series was only three, but I love them. I'm super excited to have them in my collection. I definitely think I'll try and get the third one so I can go ahead and complete out this series. But yes, if you get the opportunity, definitely check these out. And if you can find them at a good deal, then I definitely recommend them. watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.